right, Todd's back. Uh, if you haven't gone outside yet, good for you. It's 4.44 in the morning. Um, it's, there's a nip. There's a nip Oof. in the air this morning. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, so I've gotten to that point <laughs> where I don't, I no longer leave the house with a jacket. Like, our jackets are yep. kind of stuffed I do, away. I do the same. You know what I mean? Yep. And today I was like, and I, it, I, look, we walk about 300 yards outside. It's not a big deal. But I was like, wow, you know, this is kind of one of those jacket days. It's chilly. A little yeah. chilly this morning. But, you know, we'll survive and the temps will warm after the sun comes up. So, for reference sake here, the average date of the last 32 degree spring morning over the last, say, 20 years or so is, uh, well, 30 years actually, is uh, April 30th in Portland, May 9th in Bangor, and May 14th in Caribou. And what is it, the 18th? Where are we, Lee? 18th? May 18th, sir. May 18th, thank you. So, this is a little late in the game, and we're at 30 degrees in Portland. It's pretty cold out. A lot of 20s off to the north and west. Buxton, Gray, Sebago, Parsonsfield, Freiburg, Rumford is 25. This is getting way down, and this is not good for our area farmers, especially some of those fruit crops. All the trees have blossoms on them right now, and some of these numbers are getting down to those critical levels where we could start losing some crops um, with those buds and things. So getting a little worried out there. Temperatures in eastern Maine, Hermans 28, Freedom 28, Lincolnville 29. We also have 20s in Norridgewalk and Farmingdale and around 32 elsewhere where we're getting some frost. Bangor is 32. So again, this is late in the game for these type of temperatures. High pressure is nosing in with bright sunshine, so that's good. That'll help real quickly today. We'll have it tomorrow. This system, along with some moisture from the south, will link up to bring us some rain over the weekend. And by then, it's kind of much needed. We haven't had much in a long time. This morning, crystal clear, but very cold. And there are actually a few puffs of wind still left over from yesterday's gusts. So that adds a little insult to injury, even a little more bite to the air. Statewide sunshine for the middle of the day. Should be a bluebird sky. Temperatures rebound quickly up through the 50s to around 60. And this afternoon will be sunny, comfortable, pleasant. The only exception will be later in the day along the coast where the wind turns on shore. So again, adding some chilly feel to the air late in the day. So around 60 for high temperatures on the coast, low 60s inland, but these numbers will back off along the coastline when that wind turns on shore. Tomorrow, beautiful, mostly sunny, mid 60s. And then on Saturday, the day starts dry. It finishes with some rain and Saturday night will get a little drenching here. That passes through. I think Sunday we're clearing out. It'll be warm still around 70 and that big high builds in for the start of next week and might actually stick around for the majority of next week, which would lead to another extended rain free stretch. The rain we get Saturday night has potential to give us a nice little soaking, which I'm kind of hoping for. We could use it for lawns and gardens and crops and also to rinse the air of all the pollen, which is sky high right now. We're probably looking at a half an inch with potential for a little bit more. There's the marine forecast, small craft advisories until 8 a.m., mostly for those breezes that are still a little gusty out there on the open water. Frost early this morning, then sunny and really nice. High temperatures around 60. Tomorrow we're looking at mid 60s away from the coast, low 60s at it. Rain late in the day on Saturday. We'll get it Saturday night, but we are clearing out on Sunday and it's going to be warm 72. And then early next week back to beautiful stuff, mostly sunny Monday and Tuesday with high temperatures in the mid 60s, which again is where we should be. And we got to keep that going. I don't need, I don't need to tell you what next week. Yeah, is. Yeah, so I know. Just, I know yeah. right now I, I kind of like what I see. All right. All right. Just, so. just saying, <laughs> yeah. just keep an eye on it. Okay. Thanks, sir. I got you. <laughs>